Hey team, so sorry, having some technical difficulties, but I'll be with you in a second. Um, SLP will be here in just a few moments and then we'll get going. Hey, SLP, you should be able to unmute yourself. Now. Hey, everybody. Hey. Lordy. Hi. All right. I think we're ready whenever you are. I'm sorry, my camera isn't working. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, oh, ha ha. Oh, my God. I'm listening to this other weird, crazy thing. Um, Hold on. Hold on, I've got some weird, crazy thing there. You know how things run in the background? Yes. <laughs> I'm yep. doing this uh, anyway, blah, 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 long story. Um, I'm gonna sneeze and then we're gonna get started. Um, oh, how exciting. <laughs> there we go. Bless okay. you. Okay, Bless so you. welcome to Watch Me Work. Uh, sorry I'm late today. I'm was working <laughs> and uh, hi. So uh, this is how we do it. We work together for 20 minutes and then I take questions from you about your creative process. I'm SLP, Audrey's gonna tell you how to get in touch should you have questions. Thanks friends. Uh, hi, um, if you have a question and you're inside of the Zoom, all you need to do is click on the raise your hand button, which is in the reactions tab, likely on the bottom of your screen if you're on a laptop or on the top if you're on an iPad or a tablet. Um, and if you're watching uh, on the live stream, you can also tweet at us at watch me work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound, H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D, or you can tweet at the public theater, or you can write to our Instagram. And those are the ways. Fantabulous. Okay, we're going to start. I can't see Audrey, but I'm guessing it's going to start now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
mute, unmute. Does it work? Uh, yeah. Yes. Fix this. Oh yeah, you should. No, no, no. It's all, it's all good. I'm just, I'm just in uh, many other programs today. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful people. Okay. Any questions? Only answers today. Only answers. Hey, Ryan. Good to see you. Hey, Ryan. Do you have a question, Ryan? I will. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I was just saying. I was oh. just waving because we I don't. All, I mean, we like we see we see all our fabulous people like Milani and Lou and everybody else. Steady poor. I love you. And MC. We see everybody, but then it's like Ryan. We see like every like once a month or something. Yeah. So I said hi. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right. Oh. Let's Ryan does have a question. So let's go to Ryan. Yay. There you go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's oh, so funny when we there can't we go. see you. <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's good to be here. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, y'all been at it. It's good to see yeah, you. you. Yeah, we have. It's good to be here. <laughs> I, um, well, I guess, I mean, yeah, I'm always up for, I always have some questions running through my noggin. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I guess, um, so yeah, the last time I was here, I was like, I decided, uh, or it was very helpful to, to decide if I was editing or if I was still writing or like just not mm -hmm. doing, doing, uh, one thing at a time. And, uh, and so I've been like going through my piece and sort of assigning the, the choir of characters and that mm -hmm. sort of uh, been like, I was looking at that as editing, but it is the rewrite or it is writing. Yes. Uh, not even, yeah, it's the original writing. <laughs> but I've, uh, I found some pieces where I, um, I didn't feel like it was applicable. Or I wasn't finding, I wasn't hearing the character, the voices that I'm sort of molding. I wasn't hearing them in some of these chunks. And I'm trying to play more with the idea of, uh, I guess, a narrator uh, mm -hmm. as opposed to a full choir. But I just sort of was being really hard on myself. Like, nah, you like have these characters and you need to like get like each, you need to find them in each piece. And I, uh, I think I, um, I, 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 I stop, I guess, yeah, my question, I guess, is more is like, you just, I guess it's more of like a, the idea I've heard before in the space of like lowering the bar to be like, no, if it flows like this, it flows, it doesn't need to, you don't need to force it. Yeah, don't force it. <laughs> if it doesn't, uh, if, it, if you're finding that it's still, you can still go forward. Mm -hmm. I guess it's sort of, I guess it's, I guess that's the, that's the writing space I'm in now. Um, that sounds good. That yeah. sounds good. I mean, but and and just to to your point, Ryan, wouldn't an isn't a narrator a character? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So you add. I, so you added a character to the choir. Yes, I think I was really fo trying to be like, no, this is like a whole choir. Like, there's no narrator. And I think I was just working <laughs> against that idea when it just made more sense to work with it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got, I mean, constantly you have to like reframe, right? You know, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, I think, I think, yeah, a lot of the difficulty comes when we say, this is how it is, and I made up my mind, and now it, it doesn't fit, and oh no, and you say, oh, maybe it's like this. Yeah, you know? yeah. But uh, narr I, narrators are characters too. <laughs> yes, yes. And, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's good. To be our, I guess more in my the, the writing spaces too. Um, I guess I'm trying to like really look at more compassion or like with the self, which is so much easier said than done. Because I think I'm also the, my one other big work that I'm still trying around town with uh, comes from a a place of writing, uh, not to go too into the work, but writing from like a place of survival. It's like, right. and I sort of my next piece is like I tried to document a year in the pandemic. I took uh -huh. maybe maybe I took a, th a three sixty five note, but I uh -huh. tried to. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, I want to document twenty this March twenty twenty to March twenty twenty one, and like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, um, but I'm also trying to remember I don't need to again with being compassionate. You don't the stakes don't need to be so high. <laughs> like, right, they, right, 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 like, right, right. And I think it's just uh, it's. I always think I'm a compassionate writer to myself, but then I really clock. I'm like, no, you got, you can, 
if it's like if the, your self critiques can prevent you from going forward, uh, that's not that's uh, that's a tricky place to stay. <laughs> exactly, and that's a great thing to say, Ryan. That if your self critiques prevent you from going forward, then they're you know we have to find more compassion, more helpful ways of critiquing ourselves, more more helpful notes, really. If your notes are constantly shutting you down, right? Then we have to we have to really uh, become better note givers to ourselves, hmm. right? I mean, and again, you can think of any anything you want. Think of think of um, I don't know. Can you ride a bicycle? Yeah. Okay, or, you know, I mean, or or when you learn to walk. I mean, I don't know what your childhood was like. I have no idea, but I have met you in person, and I know that you can cross a room on your legs and feet. You know, okay. And when you were learning that, I mean, I don't know what your parents were like or your caregivers, but there was a probably some kind of encouragement or yay or look at look at them go or what some something that made you somebody in there encouraged that activity. You know, we and we, you know, who have kids who learn to walk fairly recently, we remember what it was like. Yeah, you can go. <laughs> Come on, yay, look at them. Take a video, you know, all that kind of silly stuff. And that is the kind of encouragement we need to give ourselves when we're writing. And it's not fake and it's not a lie. And it's not how could I mean I was really and it's it's widespread. I was talking to um some of my students at NYU just today, and I talked to one you know, really wonderful writers, you know, and I hey, um, um, what do you think about your your play? I don't know. They were like, I don't know. I said, wasn't well, there one thing that you like about it? And no, yeah, really, you know, um, we we get in these loops of 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 sort of, I don't, you know, and they finally said, I don't want to presume too much, but I, I think maybe I, I like my characters. I'm like, whoa, you know. So that you know, we gotta we gotta work on that. <laughs> Just, you know what I mean? And we have to give ourselves encouragement and you can err on the side of feeling good about yourself. It doesn't mean that you're not going to take any notes, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. I hear. Yeah. I did feel like this past weekend, I did catch myself when you read something back and you can be that sort of hype person you need for yourself. Mm -hmm. I was like, you need to remember that feeling. And when you find something like that, mm -hmm. where you're celebrating yourself to like, but then I guess I was a little tricky with being like, okay, but only if I'm celebrating myself, myself like that. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's yeah, a little, a little yeah. And even yeah, even just speaking it now, I uh, yeah, to make it more a little yeah. <laughs> just just say what you got to tell yourself to, you know, get yourself out the door. It's like you know you, you know you're 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 sending your kid off to school you're going out on a date with someone not you know you're just trying to do something good <laughs> um you want to give yourself some encouragement um you know to just get to the next day mm. it's really it's it getting we the more we can get in that practice of doing that the better off you know we'll be with ourselves and with each other you know mm. yes. You know? yes yeah and i i saw uh, i saw a strange loop this weekend oh, uh -huh. and that yeah it's for like everyone in this space like that it yes it, yeah yeah it is right. uh, it's about it's about it <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh fantastic fantastic okay thank you, Ryan. thank you thank you oh i muted you too soon i am so sorry it's been a rough moment all right let's go oh, to no Crystal. camera what's going on with your camera I don't know. I've tried to turn it on and off many times. I think it's just registering the wrong camera. Uh, go for it, Crystal. Hi. Hi, Crystal. Hello. Um, first, um, first, thank you for your support and encouragement from when I was putting my, my play up, uh, The Father Chronicles. Um, that happened last Monday. And Congratulations. Thank you. And it, uh, I was very pleased with it. And oh. um, it was, uh, it was, it was, you know, there was also a Q and A and it was, oh. uh, yeah. So I was afraid of that too. And get this, I was supposed to get a, do like this 
interview with um like the the a queen's um radio station mm -hmm. and then they were like oh um we can't have our interview with you because we're interviewing chuck schumer <laughs> so well, yeah. I, guess I was good for chuck i was kind of like that's okay <laughs> okay it's fine <sighs> um but it went really it went really well i was oh. i was um I think I'm like, I think I'm probably ready for it to be done again and to be mm -hmm. done in other places. And I think, you know, um, I think, I think I'll be okay, you know, uh -huh. with that happening. So uh -huh. thank you. Cause uh, yeah. I was very nervous about how to be. Um, my question now <laughs> we're, we have to go back to, my Zeph and Violet play. Uh -huh. And it's more of a question of when, you know, I've written many, many drafts and, and I've yeah. been working on this since I started, mm -hmm. since I started Watch Me Work. Right. Yeah, um, I remember. And uh, when, um, when is like, um, not rewriting, but like revising or like looking over, like, when does that become like, almost like, I don't mean to be gross, but like picking a scab, like when does it become like, we're just picking at it for the sake of picking at it and it's not like really productive. Right, 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 right. Um, uh, let's see, I feel like it becomes picking a scab when, and it's great, when you're not allowing the thing to gel, think of it's a scab. I mean, you, you, you answered the question yourself. So when you pick a scab, you're not allowing the, the body, the, the, the great writer, really the spirit, the, the work to, to pull itself together in a way, right? You're becoming impatient and you're picking at it because you know, you're nervous or it feels good to pick at your scab or whatever, but you're not allowing the, the process to do its work, you know, the process that doesn't actually take your actual sitting down at the typewriter or the computer and doing it right. Mm -hmm. the, the bigger process, the natural process, the body to write itself. Right. So um, I think it's not picking at a scab when you're actually, you have a, a list, it can be five things, 25 things, or one thing, uh, an action list things that you want to work on you know I don't know if the beginning of of the third scene and the second act is really you know I don't think that the, the action is clear you know I really want to clarify so-and-so's journey through the play I really want to make I really want to earn the ending or I really whatever your notes are to yourself or the notes you've you've collected from various readers that you think are appropriate you know so when you still got a list you still got work to do and as long as you've got work to do it's not picking at a scab when you don't have really any work to do you just don't know what else to do with it and i think i'll just i think i'll just get in there and do stuff then you're picking at a scab does that make sense yes yes and i think it comes it comes back to that old fear that we already talked about. And I apologize for bringing that okay. up the fear, the fear that we already discussed about like, you know, I've, I've just been told, I mean, without people like really reading it, mm -hmm. that like, if it's a two person play, it needs to be shorter. And right now it's like at like 105 minutes. And I'm and told- So how short are they talking? 90. So what's the difference between 105 and 90? Um, 15. So is that a note that you think is valid? I don't, I don't know, only because when I look at the, because they're in three different parts, each part has a beginning, middle, and end. So how and long do you, how, how long, how, how do you know it's 105 minutes? Because this, I mean, because I have 105 pages. That's that's what's how the I, font. Uh, 12. Can you make it 11? Make it 11. Can you make the mark? I mean, really? Can you? I mean, you can do you can do two things. 
you can go through it with a pencil and go anytime I sort of feel like I heard that already, circle that passage and cut it for the moment, right? Mm -hmm. You can do that. After you've done that and really cut down to the bone and like, oh, this speech is four pages long. Guess what? I can do it in two. That gives you two pages. After you've done that, really cut it down to the, the very essential, right? Then if you're still six pages too long, change the font. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Change the font, make it 11 point, make the margins a little wider, maybe, you know, really, if they're really look, if they're dismissing your play because they look at the page numbers, they go, it's too long, you know, then change the font. Oh, okay. Yeah, but first you're going to go through it and cut, you know, first you're going to go through it and cut because I bet you, bet you, bet you there's stuff that looks like, you know, an audience member, you know, la, 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 you know, we're looking at our watch. Do we really need to hear all that? You know, mm -hmm. I bet you there's some places in there. Mm -hmm. So let's take the note, right? Let's take the note and go, okay, I'll give it a try. But then after you've gone through it and if you're a few pages over, then change the font. Give yourself a break. Mm. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. See, it's easy. That was very easy. <laughs> <laughs> it usually always is. That's what's weird about it. It usually always is kind of like just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> okay. 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 But it'll be fun. Just circle anything that makes you feel like, ah, I'm bored. This is boring. Circle it. Okay. Anything and like also after you get it in the festival, you can always add those pieces back. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Like, we love your play. Okay, let's have a reading. Great. Okay. Have a reading and add some stuff. I'm adding some stuff here. Actors. Oh, great. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I I'll do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Crystal. Thank uh you. All right, um, Jesse, you were clapping. Did you have your hand up also, or is it just clapping? Just clapping, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, Melania, go for Ooh. it. Melania. Hello, Susan. Hello, hey, everybody. Melania. Hey, how you doing, sis? Fine, fine, I'm doing fine. And I have a question about trusting myself when mm -hmm. I write. Mm -hmm. There is, there was, we talked about synopsis last week. And yes. I, what you said about trying to do it like I am telling to a friend the story mm -hmm. and I had a deadline oh. that it was there so I was in a hurry and I tried to as I said to go fast so I couldn't <laughs> listen to my fears and, and, when, when, and I knew that I had uh, problems in the story there, there were situations that but, but I didn't have the time so I said okay right. I, I keep going I keep going when I go to submit the work, they extended the deadline. So I have one more month to work. Oh, lovely. Yes. So there was a part of me that said, okay, this is great. And there was a part of me that said, oh, no, because now uh -huh. <laughs> I begin to doubt myself about the story, the characters. And I am finding myself almost trying to change the story. And I don't know if I if there is a part that there are things that I need to figure it out in the story, in the plot, right. in the guide, or if I would like to do another thing in this month, and I was so in a hurry that I couldn't change before. So I don't know what can I do to, to talk to myself and to the spirit in order to know what is the, the way, what is the path that I that it's better to, to take because I don't, I am open to, but I don't know if I have to insist in the story mm -hmm. or I need to try another thing. Well, I, 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 no, no, no. I, I hear you. I hear you. And I feel like because you felt when you had no time to do it, that there were things that you would like to change. Yes. You could honor that feeling. That, that was probably a real feeling. Mm -hmm. You felt like, darn, there are things that I want to change. And now that you have the time to change them and work on them, you're like, ah, oh, because it's, it's hard, it's work. Yes. 
go ahead and take the, you know, take the, take, you know, do it in two weeks. So don't take the whole month. Okay. Take two weeks to do it. Okay. You know, and then use the two, other two weeks for something else. Don't go all the way up to the deadline because then you'll be in the same place you were last time. Ah, I, I didn't get all the changes done, you know? So give yourself a, a, a deadline of, of a couple weeks and in a couple weeks, you're going to turn it in, you know, yeah. you're going to have it ready and be very clear on what the things are that you want to change. Mm-hmm. Again, you don't want to be picking at the scab. You actually want to may have a list. I'm going to do this and this and this. And those are the three things you're going to fix change, remedy, rewrite, and then you're going to let the rest go. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Good question. Good question. Thank you you for always helping us. Thank you. Well, thank you for asking such great questions all the time. All of you, such great questions. So helpful, you know, and and we know that like other people, are we recording this one, Audrey, as we do it often? Yeah, we are. It's great because other people, you know, can listen to this. And be like, oh, I have a question like Melania had. I have a question like Crystal had. And they can, they can sort of, you know, oh, Ryan, that, that's what I was thinking about my own work. And they can feel, you know, less alone. And they can encourage themselves. And they can, and, and whatever they're doing, whether they're writing or knitting or doing decoupage. Does anybody do that anymore? Um, you know, or a combination of all three. Macrame, interpretive dance. You know, they can encourage themselves. Um, so that's kind of, that's true. So we're, we're all providing a, a wonderful service for people. And we have about 10 more minutes to do that. Oh, so we can just sit here. Talk about Audrey's camera. Oh, Lou's got a question. Oh, Lou. Hey, Lou. Hey, great to see you. Great to see I, you. I love the idea that what we're doing here, we'll just like, um, reverberate through time and space. So I really Mm -hmm. appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um, So my question today is, I want to finish what I started. Mm -hmm. And boy, (laughs) even though I want this, I could come up with so many reasons Mm -hmm. to start a new thing. Some of these things have bubbled up in this room. Mm -hmm. It's like you were saying, I could start a new thing. I can start a thing that will help me understand the thing I want to finish better. So I should do that. Um, How can I finish this thing? It's the biggest thing I ever wanted to do. There's so much to think about more. I want to tell you, it is time to finish this Mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want to find a way to finish it. So what is my question? How do I remind myself every day that the, right now I'm clear talking to you. I always get clear mm-hmm. when I talk to you mm-hmm. when I'm here and then I leave and then oh, that's why you have to come back. <laughs> I know that's why I keep coming back, <laughs> okay. but I want, I want, this is my wants. It's my, and that's why I'm afraid to do it because I think it's the truest want of my whole life to finish this thing I'm working on. And when, and, you I, give it to I, your, and when you give it to yourself, you won't have another true want? Maybe not. Maybe it's like, a, I just want to stay in it. You know, it's like, it's the want that I want, not the, not the work or something. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, it's mm-hmm. become addictive. It's not healthy. I know this. It's not great. Well, it's, that, it's, well that's helpful. That's helpful. That's helpful. I mean, because it's, it's yeah. not, because it, what it's not like is a wonderful relationship where you go, this is my, this is my significant other and we're good and we're together and yeah you know, so there's no right but you're saying this is a this is a a a, a work relationship or relationship that I have in my work that is feels good but I want I want you you want to get done you want to cross the finish line I want to get done I the question, really... do you care so if you were running a marathon would you care what it looked like when you crossed the marathon no. the, the finish line no great so you could be like the original runner in marathon and like fling yourself (laughs) you don't have to be like the winner you're like it doesn't have to be graceful it can be it can be just sloppy or just throwing yourself you're done you're finished right if you get to and then well you know when you get to the finish line is it a finish line is it a first draft finish line or is it a finish line finish line rewrite 
It's a first draft. It's a first Great. draft. Initially. Okay, well, gee, it, that's just the beginning. Yeah, like, this I know. You, did you go to high school? I did. Great. Okay, so when you go, I mean, I know we all looked at high school when we were in high school going, oh, oh when I graduate. <laughs> right? And you graduate and you're like, geez, it's just the beginning. I mean, it's not even the beginning. It's like, not even the beginning, but it's just the starting line. You think it's some kind of glorious, you know, and then you look back and you go, gee, that's kind of where I started. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and maybe that's what's concerning you, but let's, let's say we don't care about what's really bothering you. Mm-hmm. We do, but we, we won't worry right. about it because we'll be picking at that scab, like try to figure it out. So let's just say it could be a number of reasons. So let's find a number of tools. Let's find a number of tools. Okay, one of the one fun tool is the five minutes a day method. Mm-hmm. Five minutes, five minutes on your timer. You're only going to work on it five minutes a day, inch forward, mm-hmm. every single day without fail, inch forward for five minutes, inch forward for five, work on it for five minutes, right? Do you have a number of pages that you think, I write these number of pages and then I'll be done? What's What's... How far away is the finish line? Mm, I have an outline Mm -hmm. that's pretty strong. And I'm just, I'm, and what I'm trying to do is now beef out the outline. So it's real. Cause I have, I have the flow. Right. So, so I think, so it's not pages. I think what it is, is meat on the bones. I want to hang the meat on the bones that I have. Okay. Five minutes a day, every single day without fail. I can do that. Yeah. Good. Okay, and when do you think you'll have enough meat on the bones of this outline to then start writing it? Is that the next step after you have meat on the bones and you start writing? Is that the next step? What's the next? Well, step? I have a couple chapters that some of the meat is meatier than there's some okay. just bones without meat. So it's it's a little uh, half and half right now. There's like fifty percent meat. Sorry, I'm probably being That's confusing okay. with my metaphors. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, here's what I will say: I owe it to somebody who's really important, and it's potential to see the light of day on May 20th. So the, the, the outline is sort of due to somebody who could affect oh. this getting in May, the world. May 20th. Yeah, May it's 18 20th. days from now. 18 days from now. Okay. So what do you, how many more hours do you think you have left to work? I mean, how many more hours before you get to the finish line? Realistically? I think if I'm hurling myself and not being precious and weird, maybe like I could do it in like 30 or 40 hours if I was just like, you know, just like doing it. So that's like two hours a day. Probably. Yeah. Is that like, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not doing the math here. Today's the second. We're talking the 18 days. 18 days. That's going to be, you know, 36 hours. Right. Mm -hmm. If kind of what, I don't know, whatever. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You can work that out on your own, but two hours a day, let's just say, right? So instead Mm -hmm. of five minutes a day, you got two hours a day. So can you do um, four 30 minute chunks? A day? Yeah, I can. I can't do two solid hours, but I can do four. I know. You you have the day, you have the time during the day to sit down and do 30 minute chunk, you're done. 30 minute chunk, you're done like that. I do. Can you, can you print out like a, I mean, I don't know what you like, paper calendars i don't have one right now but you know a piece of yeah. pa- like you know a blank paper mm-hmm. calendar and write every time you, you know and you can check the boxes yep you can write I little can. four little squares a day and just check the boxes so you can see your progress visually and it actually works to print it out and do it manually mm-hmm. then like do something on your computer your screen or something mm-hmm. like that and you just kind of trudge along yeah, I can do that. Okay. And you're yeah. going to alert your friend to be ready to receive it on the 20th of May. They've, they've been alerted. They've been alerted already. So what they're expecting it. They've, they're expecting it. It's a deadline with my agent. Good. Very good. Okay. So you can send them an email like today and go get ready <laughs> because that's going to remind you they're really expecting it. Cause I just told them again. Get ready. It's coming. it's coming. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, you know, mm-hmm. you know yeah. what I mean? So you could put some like pressure on yourself, you know? Yeah. 30 minutes, four times a day. 
and just be single-minded. And guess what? No other idea is, is interesting. Right yeah, now. I got, I got real distracted this, this past few days. I was looking all around. Yeah. 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 And you're just bullshitting yourself. Yeah. I really was. Just, yeah. And that's okay. It happens sometimes. You know what I mean? But you're just, if you check, if you think, Oh, I'll be, I'll do this. I'll take a horseback riding, you know? No, no, it's not as interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll paraglide. And yeah, that's gonna, yeah, no power lifting. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Gardening got really interesting. Gardening. <laughs> wrong 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 wrong. just no no mm -mm, no no i'm bullshitting myself i'm bullshitting myself you can write make yourself a sign yeah finish by the 20th of may anything if you do anything else you're bullshitting yourself that's that's it there's no other reality yes i'm gonna come back i I was looking at the schedule i'll come back and tell you when i when i sent it i'm gonna tell you there you go thank you so much okay you're welcome so much. Thank you. Great question. Great question. And just know that there's someone out there, you know, in the community somewhere who's really helped by that. Cause mm-hmm. they, you know. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Lou. Yeah. Thanks. All right, friends. We've got about 30 seconds left. <laughs> That's all. We're good. Excellent. Well, we'll see you, see you next week. Well, maybe we'll see you. Maybe we won't. Maybe you'll have your camera. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I think I know what to do, but I couldn't do it in the middle of the thing, you know? Understood. We will see you next week. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Thank you. Bye.